moving out getting everything staged for the day i think i'm gonna stay on corn for today or at least the better part of this morning and then might switch to beans later this afternoon i don't know we'll see but uh, for now we're gonna shell some corn i called gpc which is a place i sell a lot of corn to and they had some appointments open uh, so you never wait in line there or theoretically you don't uh, because they're appointment only which is good and bad it's nice because you don't have to wait in line but it sucks when you can't get an appointment but they go through a lot of corn a day i want to say on average they go through about a hundred thousand bushel a day and uh they do that 365 days a year as long as everything's running right so um we're gonna start here right on the highway this corn here and uh dive on into it i guess got a few end rows shelled off and the first hopper shelled so we're gonna test it real quick see what it tests and go from there hey bud what do you think you like it whoa pretty neat isn't it <laughs> that first big spot. Mm -hmm. Hey Cooper. Well, the good news is the corn's doing really well. The bad news is I just ate shit on a corn head snout. That'd be it. It looked like it just came completely unlatched because I was on flat ground and didn't even have the head low. So I think it just came unlatched and oh, it's caught in a snapping roll and caught in the gathering chains and everything else. So it's trash. I think the neck plate's trash too, so that's fun. So this one already had a crack in it and I'm really thinking that that's kind of what did me in here. Um, it's definitely done in. Um, I'm gonna put these bolts back in before I lose them because they're kind of important. But um, as you can see, it bent the deck plate up as well. So that sucks, but we'll get it. We'll get it. Um, I'm taking it apart. I sent the guy that was running the grain cart. He is on his way to Blush Brothers. They have a red end. They did not have a red, uh, I forget what they called it, the back piece of the snout this year. So it's gonna be yellow on this row, which he said, well, we can order a red one. And I'm like, well, just give me a yellow one and order a red one because honestly, I just wanna get running today. So it's gonna have a black eye, but it'll get us going little bit of a black eye but we're fixed gonna have a rider tag along a couple of them and they even brought lunch what she be yep dry enough for me to run good enough let's run 199 We got the first little bit done here there's about i want to say 20 acres on this side about 10 there and about 35 over there i think so unfortunately i don't get the luxury of nice square flat 80s i got hills and hollers and ditches and point rows and i don't know it keeps life interesting farming this stuff oh yeah you love to see it it's finally payday. Jumping. Well, got some corn picked. This 
semis full. And we got a convoy because the other red freight liner is right behind me. We're taking them both to town. Go get them dumped. Money in the bank. You gotta love it. A little bit of a convoy going on. So on the back side of this field, I got into some 320, 340 bushel corn on end rows. Now the difference in this field is this used to be, this side used to be pasture for years and years and years and had cattle on it. Took it out of pasture, started farming it, and the organic matter in this is like stupid, stupid high. So it always grows a really, really good crop where the other half of the field's been farmed for 70 years. Not so much, but it was never no-tilled. It was worked to powder every year. Just didn't, didn't get quite what the rest of it did, so. I filled my grain tank and my auxiliary tank. We just got back with both semis and the cart's on his way. So, one semi's up there and one semi's down at the farm. He took it down there just to grab the cart, so. Waiting. Really good corn, though. It, it is a little odd, the yellow snout, but it serves its purpose. Getting ready to dump. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, you gotta get closer than that. Oh, shit, he is. There we go. Let her eat. Morning. Shelled corn last night. Yeah, we've got a grain bin already about, well, it's over half full. And that was on 14 acres, I think that field is. It's like 13 and a half, 14 acres. Granted, it's not a huge grain bin, but still really good corn. Uh, got the draper head in the shop. Yeah. Um, so what happened yesterday is the left side of the knife stopped moving. Um, didn't figure out why. Um, figured it out. Bunch of trash in here. So I got that cleared out. Um, I'm gonna need both hands for this, but I'll set you guys up where you can see what I'm talking about. So I did take it apart. I just took that bolt out, took these two bolts out, had all this apart, pried that off there with a crowbar, and it's trashed. I mean, it is done, done, done. Now, when I put it back on, good old half-inch Milwaukee, I gave her the horse torques and just really for about five minutes, and uh, it's very tight now. It pulled this together where it's not, I can't move the knife anymore um, because it's hooked to that gearbox, which is good. So then I start looking at the other side. Somebody's already welded the other side. This has already happened here. Somebody welded it. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing because I'm not spending $6,500 on a gearbox just because one shaft's bad. So we're gonna lay a bead right across this uh, but I do want to put it on the combine first and I'm just gonna put the reverser on That way it's running this nice and slow because what I don't want and I I think I'm good because I could tell that there was only Splines on half of this piece and there's only splines on half of this So I think I'm good and it's timed But if that's out of time what will happen is I'll either wreck the internals of that gearbox or this knife will be going too far one way or another. I, I'm not sure, but I need to make sure it's timed before I weld that, because if I weld it worth a crap, that's gonna be a pretty permanent thing, so. Yeah. Just because there's a poor quality shaft with really poor quality splines, doesn't mean you should have to replace the entire gearbox. That's ignorant. Anyhow, we're gonna start pulling all this apart and uh, see what I get into here. So in the meantime, I'll get the combine out, get my bean head parts out actually. 
Yeah, we'll get the combine out. I think I need to put a little bit of air in these back tires. Every now and then they squat like they look flat. But then every now and then they look fine too. Like right now, they look like they got plenty of air in them. I don't know. Apparently I got into a tree last night. Fixed it. Things already dirty. You ever seen a combine auger that high in the air? Well, it gets better. Got a tire off the rim right here. Oh, but wait, it gets better. Sunk to the frame. This right in here used to be an old pond. Got filled in. I've planted a little closer and a little closer and a little closer every year. Now right out there is completely solid dirt. As you can see right here, this dirt isn't exactly solid. It's uh, actually a little soupy. So I just saw grass, right? And I'm driving along, opening the field up. Life's good. And all of a sudden, life wasn't good. So not only do we have a wrecker coming, because I don't know that the Magnum will do this. So not only do we have a wrecker coming, but we've got a uh, tire shop coming as well. Good times here at Half Ass Acres. Yep, it never hurts to know some people. Well, we're very slowly moving. And that's good, because I don't really want to move that fast in this situation. I can feel us popping up though, so that's good. That is a deep freaking hole. Holy shit. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll show you when I get out with not dirty windows. And as one truck leaves, another one gets here. Time for a tire. Well, it's another productive day. Everything's home. And we're about to fill a bin. So, the corn's feeling fairly dry. It's testing around 19 and a half to 20. Really, really good quality. There's a couple cracked kernels, but not bad. Pretty clean stuff too. So this combine does a phenomenal job.